I've realized that I'm probably a psychotic person. Not even as a joke, not even as like, a, oh my god, I'm so wacky, I'm so silly, I'm so crazy, I'm a crazy person. Look at, look at the fucking funny jokes I'm gonna tell you. I legitimately mean I think I'm a fucking psychotic person. Like, I think I might have developed, uh, I'm on the brink of a developing borderline personality disorder. One of the things is fucking, like, like, people, like, people, they fucking bother me. Well, okay, so, first off, I like people. I, I enjoy talking to people. People fascinate me. People entertain me. I can't get fucking close to them, right? I can't fucking... I can't trust I can't trust people like that much to like fucking tell them like what goes on in my head or whatever, or if I do like you know I'll ma I'll make sure they're also you know, you know they they also you know got a problem or two or whatever. And so those are the only fucking people I trust because you know it's like they they I'm not gonna get judged by them because they know they know what it, they you know they've been around that track or whatever. I like thinking of some psychotic fucking shit. Like whenever, whenever I talk to like somebody who doesn't have mental illness or whatever, or somebody who's not like that severe, like I feel, I feel like they, like I feel like the response I'm gonna get is, is this like, oh, if you need somebody, uh, I'm always here. It's like that's not an, that's not an answer. I was like, I came to you, I came to you right now. That's. Like the right now is that is that any time, right? Like I I don't know. It's going, uh, like a, uh, and then there's like, uh, I I feel I feel like I feel like you know normal people who aren't insane are gonna like you know rationally think that oh the best thing to do is to get other people involved in this. Let's get as many people involved in this as we can to like give you the most help. No, don't fucking do that. I don't... I barely trust one fucking person to fucking help me out with my problem. You think piling people on top of that is gonna be a fucking joyride for me? Fuck no. I've had to... I've had a practice for, like, years to show no facial expression. To not... Sh to not give anyone any indication of what I actually fucking feel. What I actually fucking think. Because I don't want to fucking deal. I don't want to. I don't want to deal with people's fucking nonsense. I don't want to deal with people's fake helping. I don't want to deal with people's fucking like them. They're like, oh my god, you're crazy. You're you're this. You're that. I don't want to. I I don't. I don't want your fucking help. I don't want you. How do you think your help is gonna fucking be sufficient to me? How how do you think your your magical fucking way uh, of you I some some motherfucker is like some some motherfucker is like oh you're some motherfucker told me like uh, one of my friends was there like oh you're crazy you're crazy you need to go on medication it's like I've given you no indication that I need that I fucking don't show you anything I'm fucking smiling all the time I'm fucking not telling you anything about my fucking life I do everything by the fucking book not to give you any indication that i'm a fucking insane person my only conclusion is that you're fucking making it up and it pisses me off and guess what i'm not gonna say anything because i'm not gonna let you be fucking vindicated i don't <laughs> fuck off i don't i don't like that shit yeah i i i want to live an easy life i, I want to live an easy life where motherfuckers just ignore me get the fuck away from me I don't like people making shit up about me. I don't like, uh, I don't like that. Uh, yeah. It, there's, like, yeah, there's people, there's people who know about my problems. I'd rather tell random fucking strangers on the internet my problems than people I know, because people I know are gonna be fags about it. They're gonna be fucking, they're, they're not, they're not gonna be, they're not gonna sufficiently fucking help me. They're not gonna, well, it's like, oh. I, I don't I don't know how to, how to exp how to explain it to somebody who's who's not fucking mentally ill. I don't yeah, I don't trust doctors. I don't like doctors. 
I don't, yeah, I don't trust, I don't trust most people, most people I don't, like, so, okay, here's the thing, I have moral consideration for all people, right, even people I don't like, right, this is an important thing, uh, so, I, I value, I value people on a hypothetical level, right, please do not make that harder for me, please get the fuck away from me, with that fucking, um, Ruska, what was I saying? Yeah, it's like, if you, if you don't know what the fuck is wrong, what is wrong with me or whatever, if you're just gonna make shit up, get the fuck away, like, or, or no, I like it, okay, okay, so here's the thing, I, if somebody's like a friend of mine on the internet, I'd rather them give me advice than somebody in real life. I'd rather, I'd rather, I'd rather get help from, strangely enough, I'd rather get help from strangers on the internet than people in my, in my day-to-day -day life, her and be just, who are just gonna give me that same, you need to get, you need to get some help, or some shit like that, it's like, oh, you need me, I'll be here for you, or like, fucking, I'd rather motherfuckers on the internet literally spitball for me, some fucking, some fucking wacky shit, than, than here, like, uh, I think I'm I tr uh, I, tr I try to get into like therapy every now and then, but then like uh, I'm like either either like I fall out of it, like I'm like no, I don't want to fucking do this, or right now uh, I'm not f I'm not feeling this, or fucking um or I've got I've gotten therapists in the past and I ended up just not fucking liking them. And I'm fucking not trusting them. It's like, look, I I barely I barely trust people, ever. Like, I I can't I can't get I can't get too close to people. I feel like I'm on fire and I'm gonna burn somebody. That's literally how I feel. Like I can I can I keep people I keep people in the friend zone. Once I get like too close to people, I like I fucking this is this is where I notice a problem. I get I put people in the friend zone. And then when I notice I'm getting too close to them, it, like, it shuts down. I don't, I don't, like, like, I, I kind of, like, I keep the, I keep the relationship almost in, in, like, Groundhog Day phase. It's, like, I keep them, I keep them in, like, my comfort zone where they're not, like, like, so close to me that they can, like, hurt me. But they're, like, they're close enough where, like, I can engage with them and I can be friends with them and stuff. But there's a very, there's a very integral phase to creating relationships that's missing from that, right? Like, um, like, I've, I've felt, i felt really strong emotions for people. I remember, I remember feeling really strong emotions for people when, when I was younger. Like, we're, I remember what it felt like to be really close to people. And then at a certain point in time that, like, I wasn't able to, like, I'm not able to feel that anymore, right? My, I, I get the phase is like kind of halted, right? I get close to somebody, I get I get close to somebody, and boom, it stops. Well, like, what the fuck is that? And then like a, it's like everybody is just like, you know, oh yeah, we're just we're close acquaintances. Is is literally what what my brain does? It keeps that that phase. I can't I can't like feel love for people, like. That's not, that's not, like, a heart, that's not, like, a matter of, like, being heartless on, on my part. My brain literally cannot make that chemical that, like, that makes the feeling of, like, of, like, feeling love for people. Like, uh, like, uh, I could, I could, like, risk my life for somebody, right? Like, uh, I feel, I feel like there's, like, a, I, like, so I have emotions. They're, they play in the background, but, like, I feel like there's a layer there's like there's like um there's there's a layer of like there's like a like a layer of mist in front of that there's like an I'm my emotions are in another dimension and then like the words and like the motivations and shit and the in the narrative is like the is what I deal with on a daily basis the like the emotions are in another dimension so like I, I can I could run into a burning building to save somebody or whatever but like uh i can't i can't feel anything if they die fucking like like and like i'll, I'll like I'll, I'll help people like uh but like that i know and shit 
and like a, you know, like I'll, I'll be caring to them and stuff, and I'll help them with whatever they want. But like, the the net the next logical phase of a relationship in my mind is gone. Like even if, like even for like close family like close family members and shit. Like that, like that part of my brain does not register. I can't contact it. I remember even feeling like strong emotional connection towards like, you know, like towards like you know toys and stuffed animals that I used to have, towards like like you know completely inanimate objects. Like I imbued these, I imbued these things with like literal feelings of like of like like a deep emotional connection and love and shit like that and now like that's gone like that's that's not around anymore fucking like uh like so like i can i i, I like my guitars right i like my guitars and basses if my if i dropped my like one of my guitars and it smashed right in front of me I don't think I'd really feel anything. I don't think I'd really feel that bad. I'd be like, fuck, that sucks. <laughs> That's about it. I've had, I've had, like, stuffed animals and toys and shit that, like, when, like, when I lost them, there was, like, an empty hole in my fucking heart. I had this one stuffed animal named Snoopy. He was a fucking stuffed beagle and shit. You know, one day, like... He, like, part of, like, part of him ripped up, and, like, my grandma was like, oh, yeah, I'll fix him for you. I gave him to her, and years, and years passed, and he did not get fixed. I asked her, so, yeah, this happened when I was nine years old. I gave, yeah, I gave her, you know, my fucking stuffed dog, and she said, yeah, I think I lost it. I was like, how the fuck did you lose that? I didn't say that, but, like, that's, that's how I felt for a while. How the fuck did you lose that? That, like, that... I, I, I had that dog when I was, um, yeah, when I was, like, seven, I think, yeah, six or seven, up to, up to age nine, it was, it was, rel in the span of my life, is a really short time, but that was, like, it was a time of, like, fucking, like, of, like, kind of bonding and engaging with, with shit, I was always, I was always, like, a, like, you know, isolated to myself in my room, like, a lot of the time, like it was, I was, like, always kind of introverted or whatever. I had my own, like, imaginary world. So I imbued this fucking dog with, like, with, like, the, like, extremely, like, like, deep emotions. Like, this was, like, it was, like, my brother. This dog, this stuffed dog was my brother. And this fucking old bitch killed him. And it was, like, yeah. Fucking. And I remember... Yeah, you know, yeah, it's been a while. I remember, um, when was it? I think it was, yeah, it was the 10th, when I was in the 10th grade. Oh, uh, how old was I? I think I was 18, yeah. Yeah, when I, when I was, when I was 18, I was like, just, in, I was in math class. And I remember seeing this picture of, like, Snoopy from Charlie Brown, and it reminded me, of, like, my brain flashed back to when, yeah, when I was, like, nine years old, and, like, think, and, like, thinking of, like, thinking of, like, Snoopy, like, just, like, being alone in a fucking attic, and my brain fucking shattered, my brain fucking shattered at the thought of this fucking stuffed dog, like, it, being like alone and I'm never and he's never able to come back. He's gonna be alone forever. He's gonna rot away. He's gonna rot away until there's nothing left of him. <sighs> yeah, it's so fucking I don't know, I remember telling somebody about it. Like the day it was happening so they're like, Yeah, something's wrong with you, something's seriously wrong with you. It's like and I was like, I don't want to talk about it. I was like, I've had bad things happen to me. Please fucking don't. Please get the fuck away from me. And I told them, and they, and they were like, oh, that's no big deal. It's like, shit. <laughs> shit, that's no big fucking deal. Alright. Whatever. Fucking. And, um, yeah, what else? Oh, yeah, yeah, the water... The, yeah, the water in my area, you can't drink it. It's like, there's like poisonous chemicals in it. You can bathe with it? 
yeah, sure. You can bathe with it, but if you drink it, yeah, it's not good for you. So I have to drink, like, water and tea from the fucking store. I don't know, it's a, um, my, my brain's off track. But, um, yeah, yeah, now, yeah, also another thing, now that I have money, I can buy, like, any instrument that I want, but, like, like, there's still a dream of, inside of me to, like, start a band, but no one gives a fuck, so, fuck it, this is why, I'm gonna be a SoundCloud rapper, fuck metal music, metal music doesn't want to be saved, so fuck it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna sing some fucking... Poopy pussy. Shuck my dick. Shuck my dick. Shuck my dick. Shuck my fucking dick. That's what you fucking want. Nobody wants a metal band. Fuck them. Nobody wants a grunge band. Nobody wants a punk band. Fuck them. Fuck you sad motherfuckers. I'm gonna make the worst fucking rap music you've ever fucking heard. It's going to become popular. Everyone's going to like it. <laughs> and in my live shows, I'm going to be like, Yo, Metallica's the gayest fucking band ever. Them motherfuckers is talentless. Fuck Slayer. <laughs> yo, I'm going to like rag on like... I'm going to be like, Yo, fuck death metal. Fuck heavy metal music. Y'all is all fucking talentless. Because <laughs> you don't want to... Because nobody, nobody wants to be in a metal band, so metal music fucking sucks, doesn't it? Punk rock music fucking sucks. Fuck punk rock music. It's fucking, uh, it doesn't even take any talent. You can't even, you can't even rap the way of <laughs> You can't, you can't even, you can't, you, you're not on the level of BG Waffle Sex. You're not on the level of fucking Playboy Cardi. Playboy Cardi's a fucking genius, and you're fucking jealous. Um... But yeah, I used to, I used to, like, internally kind of rag on people with, like, borderline personality disorders, like, it's like, I was, like, I was, like, scared of them and shit. I was like, oh god, they're gonna fucking, they're gonna plan to kill me or whatever. But that, I mean, I always suspect everybody wants to kill me. It would be weird if people didn't want to kill me. Which is that, that's naturally how my mind is wired, right? I, like, I always go into every relationship, like, you know... Yo, you know, somebody's gonna, somebody's gonna fucking murder me or whatever, or like, um, or yeah, that's that's how like, like uh, like yeah, it's, thinking about people like about people doing dangerous shit to me or me doing dangerous shit to other people is is like comes naturally as fucking breathing, like it's like it how the fucked up part about it is like. I won't even be mad or angry or whatever, and it'll be like, it'll be like, yep, they probably want to kill me or whatever, or yep, if they try to fuck with me, I'll stab or some shit like that. It just like, it there's even like when there's like no like anger or anything attached to it, or if the, like the, I think like my emotions are in the background, they're another dimension, but like the narrative is still constant. There doesn't need, it doesn't need anything to start it. There doesn't, there's no warning sign. It just fucking happens. Or whatever. Vriska. Yeah. Oh, uh, I'll say, uh, the fucking, I still have identity problems. What do you do? Oh, uh, fucking. Uh, Vriska. Yeah, uh, it's kind of. I wish I had more funny videos. I really do. I wish I, I wish I made more funny videos. I just wish I did more comedy videos. I wish I, I wish I made more music. Like the thing is, you know, when you're, like, I feel more f fulfillment on a, you know, on a regular basis, like talking to friends on Discord and shit. I feel, I feel more, I feel more fulfillment doing that than like making YouTube videos. That's why I don't make too many YouTube videos. I still make them. Cause sometimes I get a wild hair on my ass to like fucking you know make something I want to watch later, and then uh, you know that dies out, and then you know I go back to living normal life. Hey, remember I did that? Oh, I can do that again. Let me make something or whatever. <laughs> but um, I don't know. Vriska. 
Yeah, maybe I does uh, everyone everyone's solution for me is to like yeah go on antidepressants, go take the fucking psycho drugs or whatever, go into therapy, you know, tell everybody your problems so we don't have to be scared about like your brain anymore. Tell 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 everybody what's going on with you so we don't have to be worried about you fucking hurting us. Yeah, I I suspect you people of wanting to hurt me. So why the fuck would I give you the fucking ups on on my show? Why the fuck I warn you about my shit? But it's like, yeah, that's what it is. Um, I wish I, I wish I was better. I'd like to get better. I don't fucking know. But, um, yeah. I'm just gonna, I guess that's all I have to say then.